Greetings fellow Iowa homeschoolers. This is Bill Gustoff with Homeschool Iowa coming to you from outside the Capitol. I'm uh, sitting here in my car before I depart for the day. It's Friday, February 4th. Uh, we've had a busy week and it'll be a busy couple weeks on uh, subcommittee meetings and committee meetings. And uh, we're two weeks out from the funnel date, which means any bill that originates in either chamber must be through a committee level in that chamber or it's dead for the session. So you'll see activity ramp up on, on those things as we come out. There's a backlog of drafting. Uh, it's typical this time of year. So we expect to see a lot of bills drop, as we call it here, that uh, some of them, some of the ones we worked on and we're wait, eagerly waiting to see what the language looks like when it comes out in a bill. One of those to watch for this week that'll probably be introduced is a Homeschool Credentialing Act, which would put uh, our, our homeschool diplomas on the same footing of recognition as uh, those from an accredited school. So that say a, co a, co a college, a, a State college couldn't uh, deny our diploma while accepting uh, ones from an accredited school. So that that's a parity issue that we're working on. We are engaged in Senate File 2170, which is a free exercise of religion, so that uh, if something happens like in other states where a pandemic or something like that's used to shut down churches but leave open liquor stores or casinos or or uh, shopping centers that that that's, that's not going to be allowed in our state. Uh, we're pro it's proactive, it's a good piece of legislation. We engage to make sure we protect uh, religious institutions like some support groups, but also uh, co-ops and others that meet at churches. And so, and it just seemed like a, a homeschool related issue, at least tangentially, that could have ramifications for how we teach our children. Uh, the other big news that you see on the news this, this week is uh, the governor's education bill that passed sub the Senate subcommittee, that's SSB 3080, if you wanted to look it up that uh, the key piece of that, the signature piece, is the the uh, education, the student first scholarships, ESAs. And that, of course, makes a big splash and has pros and cons. And right now, that does not include any level of homeschooling. So we're talking with them about that to, to see if uh, competent private instruction could be included at an appropriate level while making sure that we keep independent private instruction left alone and independent. And related to that, uh, Representative Wheeler, Skylar Wheeler out of Northwest Iowa, a homeschooled uh, young man, he's a young man to me, but uh, does a great job of representing his district and a good face of homeschooling in the state legislature. He introduced House File 2223, and he and I talked about that today. It needs to be actually scaled back. It's the other end where it includes, uh, it was not intended, but it includes all homeschoolers as part of that. So we're going to make sure we scale it back to uh, keep independent private instruction independent. We covet your prayers as we try to represent you well before the state legislature. We uh, thank you for supporting Homeschool Iowa, encourage you to share this with others. And if you're one who had to share with you, please sign up for our voter voice database. It's our primary way to contact you and to engage you if we need help at the Capitol. That's at homeschooliowa.org. Again, thank you for your support.